POC Network here with another unboxing yet again. Another product from us to you. This time, this is the company Omes. At least I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, the company is uh, spelled A-O-M-A-I-S. And what they've done is they sent us their Bluetooth speaker. This is their IPX7 floating waterproof proof, portable Bluetooth, lots of words, speaker. Or in other words, the Omes Sport. And what this is, is it's, it's a Bluetooth speaker that is waterproof. It is in the name IPX7 uh, rated. So it's able to be submerged into the water. Um, the feet wise, I don't know, it's probably like, you know, 30 feet or something like that. Uh, usually doesn't go much further than that. And it'll still play. You know, it can play as you're submerging it, you know. So this is something you want to take camping, swimming, boating, whatever. Because if it gets wet, don't worry about it. And, of course, if you drop it into the water, you don't have to worry too much of it going below 30 feet or so, whatever the rating would be for IPX7, because of the fact that it floats. So, hey, you know, best of both words, uh, worlds. It's waterproof, and it'll come back to you if you drop it. Oh, no, it fell into the ocean. Oh, there it is. It's coming back. So, great. Um... This is a dual driver design, uh, I believe it is, uh, right? Yeah, <laughs> dual driver design. Um, it's uh, up to 33 feet connectivity range, and of course it can be used with your, in conjunction with your cell phone and everything, and so that you can use a speakerphone and, you know, whatnot. It is rechargeable, built-in batteries, uh, up to 10 hours of playtime, which is really good. We'll test that out uh, for sure, and our website, if you visit pocinc.net forward slash blog, so you can see what our team has to say about it, if we like it, because that's important. Do we like it or do we hate it? Because if we hate it, we're going to tell you. If we like it, we're going to tell you, and we're going to brag about it, and we're going to praise it. You know, so it also offers NFC for net connectivity and everything, which is great for those. Let's put that up right. There we go. Uh, for those of you out there that want to just get it connected and, and run with it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to open it up, we're going to take a look inside, uh, see what it comes with, we're going to test a few things out so you get an idea of what to expect, and we'll uh, send you to the website from there. So, let's slide this little top piece off, and the speaker's right here. Immediate presentation of the speaker, you have a USB cable, it is USB to, to what is it, let's... Uh, micro USB, so that's going to be for charging the device. Uh, you have an auxiliary 3.5 to 3.5 cable, so you can connect a, a cellular device or other mobile device to it wi uh, with a wire instead of wireless in case it doesn't support wireless. And you have a little instruction manual. So we're going to take this and throw it off to the side. We're going to take this, put it off to the side, put this right here, throw that down there. Don't need that. Now it, the speaker itself comes wrapped in a in plastic but we did open this up already because we needed to pair it so we had something to demonstrate to you uh turning it on you just hold this little button here on ready to pair paired so, that was quick so it was already previously paired with a uh, cell phone that uh, we have sitting over here uh it takes just seconds for it to pair to the device once you've already had it paired once you turn it on it's paired. Um, on the top of the device, we'll just go over this real quick before we demonstrate anything. We have three LEDs. You have your power LED, you have your battery LED that indicates your battery level, and then of course your Bluetooth one which blinks showing that you're connected to the device. Um, and of course those lights will change depending on what you're trying to do. Is it in pairing mode? Is it dying? Is it full? And so forth. It has a very nice rubber texture to it uh, in its outer shell. Uh, definitely looks like it's going to withstand a lot of, uh, of uh, beat down. It's kind of actually impressive. There's a lot of weight to this thing. Uh, anyways, looking at the bottom, you have a tripod mount, which is kind of interesting. So if you want to mount it to something, you just use any kind of standard mounting device that uh, uses or makes use of the standard tripod thread. And then over here, you have this little latch. Of course, if, this, if you're using this in the water, you want to keep this door closed at all times. If you're using it anywhere else, you can pop it open. This is where you're going to charge it. You have a micro USB and the auxiliary port right there, so you can connect wire devices and charge it. Uh, on the top, you have some buttons here. Everything's, you know, you have to press into the rubber to get to them. You have volume down. You have volume up. You have answering phone calls and hanging up. You have previous track, play, pause. Uh, oh, excuse me. Previous track, next track. Then you have play and pause. And, of course, you have your power button right here. 
Uh, that's it. It's, there's a lot of weight to this. It's kind of distracted by that. Yeah, nice, rugged, heavy, which tells you that the, the drivers inside are actually pretty decent. You Looking at the back, you can't see it on the video. Uh, you're not going to be able to, but through the grid, you can actually see in person. You can see the there's a small, I'm going to say it's about a three inch wide woofer there and about maybe one and a half inches from top to bottom to add a little bit more of your lows into it, which is why it sounded kind of really, I don't know if you can pick it up based on my microphone that's on my body, but uh, it's really bassy, it's really interesting. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab the phone right here, and we're gonna play some music. Uh, what this is, this, is, this track is uh, from the artist Orion, uh, called The Basex. So you're gonna go check it out, go to YouTube or go to his website, and uh, check out what he has offered. Pretty cool DJ if you're into that kind of music. Lots of bass. We'll put that right there. We're hitting the lows. Gonna wait for it. Not the way you want to dance at the club. Nice little build up right there. It's gonna drop any moment now. So, really nice. Um, it's. Actually, the presence is definitely large. You can fill a decent amount of space with this. Taking this outside, you're gonna get a lot of use out of it. You're gonna hear it, you're gonna enjoy it, it's gonna sound great. Uh, this is actually quite impressive. But the most important thing is how well does it fare in water? It's waterproof, right? IPX7 rated or 7X rated. So, let's find out. That's why we have this nifty towel here on this table. We have a bowl full of water that I'm just going to toss this into, which generally I get really nervous doing that. It's kind of cool. Now I got water spraying into there. Kind of a nice effect. So far, so good. That shows the water's getting into the grate and spraying out of the grate or the grid. Face plate. It's still playing music just fine, which is pretty impressive, as you can hear. We're gonna put it back in and put it upside down now. Make sure to hold it down and submerge it because, you know, let's face it, you want this scene to be wet. Now, if we had an ocean nearby, I would take this and just jump on a giant POC network yacht and toss it right into the water with a brick attached to it, but unfortunately, we're in a desert here, so. And I, I guess we don't have a yacht, so that's kind of important. Pretty impressive so far. So it's in the water, it's still playing, it's taking it, it's fully submerged. I love taking products that say that they're waterproof and throwing it in water because if it fails while being uh, taped, not so good. But in uh, Omace's, uh, Omace, hopefully, the way you say their name, I'm sorry guys if I mess up the name. Uh, thankfully for them, uh, this is actually working really good. Not bad. So there you go. That is the waterproof IP7X rated outdoor sports speaker from Omais. That's A-O-M-A-I-S. It's available online on their website or on uh, Amazon, and we'll definitely include a link in our full review. You're going to want to go to pocinc.net forward slash blog. Go check out what our authors have to say about this, and of course, we'll give you all the links you need to find it and buy it and uh, check it out for yourself. So again, plcinc.net forward slash blog. This is the Ome Speaker. Thank you for watching. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.